0.01 second Z gate, right? Now the time determine how fast your gates can operate. So you need a large magnetic field in order to have a short gate time, okay? We can do that in, in the future assignment. Let's spare this. Okay, then, uh, in order to further play with arbitrary direction, right? This is a toy model. Right? We are pretty happy with this. But now we want to go a more a deeper one. I might not test this in the exam, I don't know, right? So don't worry too much if I give you too much math. But I really want, to, want you to get used to this. If you get used to this, you will not be afraid of any other difficult thing, right? Now, however, the spin uh, thing I gave you is not enough. But spin itself is uh, uh, it will correspond to an operator also, right? Uh, so we have something called spin angular momentum operator, and it is given by this. And let's take it for granted also, right? I did not study this before, and I think you need to go deeper to understand all this origin, but all this makes sense. A spin angular momentum operator which is the matrix, how do you construct it? Is h bar divided by two? This makes sense, isn't that? We have h bar divided by two for spin in our classical sense. h bar divided by two, right? But this spin angular, ang oh. spin angular momentum operator <coughs> is constructed by the poly vector. What is this? Sigma x, x hat, sigma y, y hat, sigma z, z hat, right? And it works because when they did the relativity version, right, of quantum mechanics, uh, that's how it works. So this is equal to what? This is equal to zero, one, one, zero, right? X hat. Uh, what is that? Zero, negative I, I zero, Y hat. One. Thank you. Yeah. So this is something we are very familiar with. Then you, you just agree this is the spin uh, angular momentum operator. What does it mean? For example, if I want... If I want to find the angular momentum, the expectation value of a, of a state, what is the expectation value, or not value, expectation spin of this state? You know already, what is the expectation value of this state, which we call it spin up in this case? What should that be? Uh, uh, spin. Uh, I, I say not just spin, actually it should be uh, angular momentum, spin angular momentum. What is the expectation value? H bar two. Good, h bar over 2, right? Spin up, we have h bar over 2, right? And similarly, what is the expectation value of this one? What, what should I have? Negative h bar over 2, right? So let's check if this works. We know that in quantum mechanics, to check it, you just put the sandwich, the operator by the state, right? So what is this? This is the cat, so it is one zero. And what is the matrix here? It's h bar divided by two times the matrix, right? The matrix, if you really go into there, you will get C hat, negative C hat, and then X hat minus I Y hat, X hat plus I Y hat. The whole thing times one zero. Are you, do you agree with this one? This is the matrix because I just multiply them, right? 1 times x hat minus i y hat 
give me this element, and this is Z hat. You just go through the math, this one times this, what do you get? You get Z hat, right? This one times this, you get X plus I, Y hat, right? But then you still have this one. Only the first term will left. So this one give me H bar divided by two Z hat, which is correct. It's pointing in the Z hat direction. The moment, the moment is a vector and its value is H bar divided by two, right? So do similarly, right? I don't have time now. If you check this one, you will get this is negative H bar divided by two uh, C hat. And you can check other things. For example, you do it yourself. What if it is a plus state? You will see this is H bar divided by two X hat. When it is a superposition, the spin expectation value will go in that direction, right? Just check it. Yeah? Um, and this will be useful later for our purpose, right? So uh, let's stop here. Ooh.